In the past two days, we had this meeting with stakeholders from all over the world, um, nearly 100 people coming from all parts of the world to talk about migration and climate change. This was an important meeting. Why? Because migration and climate change is still a topic that has not been discussed as much as it could have been. On this occasion, we had the chance to talk not only about the bigger picture, but also about what's going on in uh, specific countries. This meeting of the task force on climate change and displacement is bringing together international stakeholders and different organizations, governments, uh, academics, to uh, take stock of all the possibilities that already exist to help people that are risking displacement to, or who already have been displaced. The uh, task force has to submit recommendations to the Conference of State Parties, to the uh, UN uh, Climate Change uh, Convention. So it's a first step, but I think it's a very important step because many good practices already exist, but they need to be implemented. They need to bring, uh, we need to bring them together. We need to work across silos, and this is one step towards achieving that goal. The COP um, at the at COP24 will be able to give some direction to parties and to countries themselves to say, well, this is the sort of thing that we want you to look at at a domestic level and, a, and in your region, and that um, we'll, they'll be able to encourage um, governments to take forward this work and to, to sort of embed this work into their national adaptation planning and into their national um, development planning for themselves and for countries in their region. The next COP is quite critical to make a change in our understanding of climate change, displacement and and take action on based on a very integrated approach. So my message is one, uh, it's very important to have uh, support to national approaches. And second, it's always uh, critical and uh, important to have prevention as a measure, as a measure because uh, we all know that prevention is now uh, on the top of the UN agenda. Euh, pour la, le message de Madagascar, c'est bien sûr celle, celui qui va rejoindre le message des pays, des îles, des îles surtout. On est dans une île et on a d'autres euh, vulnérabilités que les autres ne subissent pas. Coming from the Pacific, which is a small island state, we are often left, not left out, but we are often uh, not in the priority list, maybe because of our remoteness or maybe because of our smallness. So we need to really think big and you know, be bold on what we are trying to articulate to our global leaders uh, so that they could also invest in the, you know, uh, in the South Pacific as one of the region that needs, uh, uh, needs urgent attention in terms of development. We realize if we invest today in climate change action, it can mean less forced migration happening in future generations. 